Hello everybody, my name is Susie. Welcome to the live lab here at Glasgow Science Centre. Today we're going to do a heart dissection, learn a bit more about how we do heart dissections um, so we can learn about the structure and function of mammal hearts like our own heart. Now, you'll be glad to know this isn't a human heart. Um, this heart comes from a sheep, so it is similar to our heart, the sheep are also mammals, but it's a lot smaller. So the size of our heart will probably be about a fist with maybe a little bit over that, depending on how sporty you are. And if you're a child, we take two fists and put them together, that'll be about the size of your own heart. So let's get started and have a closer look at the heart. So here at the top we have uh, arteries. Um, these um, are where blood goes away from the heart from. So I'm going to now cut away from them um, and try and separate them apart. Okay, so now I've done that, um, the next thing that I would do is I would try and figure out which side of the heart is which. So to determine which side of the heart is which, you basically just squeeze it. So you can squeeze it on the outside and feel for a thicker muscle, or you can put your fingers right into the place at the top and do that there. So now I've worked out what's the left and right side of the heart. This side's much thicker and this side is thinner. Okay, so the story that I like to follow is starting on the right hand side of the heart where blood re-enters the heart. So this blood has gone all around the body uh, and it's returning to the heart and when it returns to the heart it doesn't have enough oxygen in it so it's known as deoxygenated blood um, and it also carries a few waste products as well so I'm going to start by um, cutting off our atrium our right atrium so we can have a little bit of a look at the inside of it so as I said before I'm always amazed at how small it is, so that's the atrium there. And you might be able to tell, light can even shine through it, that's how thin it is. And if you look carefully at the structure there, it looks a little bit like a tree, which I think is quite cool. Um, this is just to kind of stop the force of blood, so it doesn't kind of break when it comes in, if it's quite high blood pressure, maybe you've been running around or something like that. So let's get moving to the next part of the heart. So we've been in the right atrium and we're now going to the right ventricle. So, if you see this line here, if you're doing it yourself, you can use this line to cut down. So this is just where fat's colour coating some of the arteries of the heart. So, we're going to slice this down here and see what structures we can see on the inside. Now that we've opened the right ventricle, we can see some interesting parts. So if you look in, you can see that there are some string-like structures. And these are more commonly known as the heart strings, so you can see that there. So they are papillary muscles, they help the heart to contract or beat. Uh, they also have another purpose though. So, at the very top, in between the atrium and the ventricles, there are things called valves. Now I think of valves basically like the doors between the two platforms. They stop the backflow of blood so that blood can't go back from the ventricle to the atrium. That keeps it going in the right direction. So the final thing I want to point out is our coronary arteries. Now our coronary arteries are the blood vessels that provide oxygenated blood to our heart muscles. So if you look Behind our semilunar valves, you can see two black dots here. And this is the entrance of our coronary arteries. Now, our heart is a huge muscle. It needs to pump all of the time, roughly between 60 to 80 beats a minute for adults. And this needs a lot of oxidated blood. So the heart provides it through a huge pathway of these arteries. So they are pretty important structures here as well. So there you have it, a heart dissection. If you want to see a heart dissection for yourself, you can come and join us here at the live lab at Glasgow Science Centre, where you can explore how your body works and see live demonstrations where you can even get hands on with your own heart. So thank you very much for watching. If you like this, you can watch some of our other videos. If not, like, give us a like on Facebook or tweet us what you think at GSC1. Thank you.